What's up, family? Man, I want to put out this video real quick. Man, we have to grow up. You know what I mean? We have to grow up. I say it all the time, but we do. We don't realize, man, how damaged we are. We don't realize how toxic we become. You know what I mean? Stay with me. I'm going to go somewhere. Man, it's a trip because as, as a kid, man, I grew up needing to fit in. I grew up needing to be accepted, wanting to be loved and valued by everybody. And I didn't understand how, man, that stemmed from the lack of love and attention and things that I got from my father. You know what I mean? My father didn't accept me. My father didn't embrace me. And so, man, that created this domino effect of me going out into the world and looking for acceptance and love from everybody else. And something that God had to show me, man, just having a conversation with my older son, something God had to show me was Elijah. This is what so many of us do. What so many of us do, because we grew up in toxic ass situations like that, where we didn't get love or, you know, the positive stuff from our parents. What most of us end up doing is we end up having kids and it's like, man, I'm going to pump all that love into my kids. I'm going to fill my kids with all the things that I didn't get, all the love and the attention and, you know, just buying them stuff and da, 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 da. I'm going to always be there for my kids because my raggedy ass fucking parents weren't there for me. My parents didn't do what they were for me. My parents did that. And so we pump all this shit into the kids to make their lives so much more better than ours to make them you know to make them feel loved and valued so they could go out into the world and not have to overcome none of the fucking obstacles and the trauma that we did you know what i mean we want them to have so much better of a life than we did and so we give them all this love all this attention and everything else and what god had to show me is Elijah, you're still needing to be accepted. Elijah, you shifted your attention. You no longer need the acceptance from your raggedy ass daddy. You no longer need the acceptance from your raggedy ass fucking family that ain't doing shit. Now you need the acceptance and the validation from your kids. But I'm not going to allow your kids to give you the validation and the love that you deserve, that you're looking for. Why? Because you need to grow the fuck up and understand that you're still needing validation. You're still looking for that. Elijah, that's why man, you get your heart broke every time you see your kids post some stupid ass shit. And it's positive shit, don't get it wrong. But they're giving everybody else the credit. They're giving Kobe Bryant the credit. They're giving all these people the credit for influencing their life. They're giving all these people the credit. And don't even mention you. Don't even acknowledge the work that you put into them. Don't even acknowledge all the information that you gave them. Before they ever even heard of Kobe Bryant. Before Bomba mentality was ever such a thing, you've invested all of this stuff into them. And so it kind of hurts you a little bit. It kind of stings a little bit when you see them traveling and you're glad and you're grateful and you're just, man, okay, I did my thing. They're not tied down. Man, they're free in the aspect. Man, they could travel and they could do whatever the fuck they want to do. And so you're glad about that. But then you're kind of sad too because you see and you hear them praising everybody else. Them acknowledging everybody else. And they don't acknowledge you. And then they turn around and flip the script on you and talk about, man, thank you for the efforts and the love that you gave us when you were raising us, when we were kids. And they completely miss the fact and miss all the shit you've done for them as fucking adults. They completely miss everything and ignore everything you've ever done for their ass when they were in fucking college. 
the vehicles you got them, the money you invested in their fucking startup companies. The conversations about life and relationships that you've had with them. They completely miss all of that. It's as though becoming an adult and going to college has made these fucking kids fucking retarded. Where they can't remember shit. And so they look at you as though you're a non-entity. Like your ass is fucking invisible. Unless you're pulling out some money for them. Unless you're buying out some Laker tickets. Unless you're doing something for them. It's like you ain't shit to them. And what God has me telling you is. As much as that fucking hurts. As much as that is a fucking slap in the face. And it's all of that. We have to stop and pause. Why? Why am I going through this? Why am I experiencing this? When nobody else around but me taking care of these raggedy ass, ungrateful ass, um, you know what I mean? Fucking kids. It was just me. But now that they're grown, everybody want to pop up in their fucking life. Everybody got something to say. But when they needed some shit, it was just you. It was just you. But now that they're grown. And they don't really need much. Just a little guidance here and there. Now you got all these other motherfuckers with their negative, toxic ass influence. That's trying to make them dislike you. Or take the credit that you deserve. And it is what it is. It is what it is. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. And that's a hard pill to swallow when you've gotten your heart broken by your kids and your loved ones and the ones that you just invested in so much. That's heartbreaking. That's frustrating. That's so disappointing. It gets us to the point like, I'm fucking done. You know what I mean? I'm done. I'm not doing shit else with nobody else. Man, fuck this world. Fuck these raggedy ass motherfuckers that, man, it puts us on one. And what God is saying is, man, calm the fuck down. Slow up, slow up, slow, slow your roll. Understand why it hurts you so much. Why does that bother you so much? Why does that hurt you so bad? Why is that fucking you up? Why is that breaking your heart? So much. You sit there and it's like, because I've done this and I've done this. And now you got to go back down memory lane. And you're remembering all the things that you've done. All the times you tried to be there for them. And it don't mean shit to them. But they're saying you was never there for them. They're saying you didn't do shit for them. And you're going back down memory lane. And you're remembering how you made sacrifices. And they don't know that it was a sacrifice. They don't understand the effort it took from you to make whatever it is happen, happen for them. And it is what it is. It is what it is. Accept it. You're not going to change it. They'll miss you when you're gone. When it's all done and over with. They're never going to give you your flowers now. They're incapable of being open and true and transparent and giving you your flowers now. 
And that's on purpose. That's for two reasons. See, because number one, for you, you have to deal with the fact that, man, I've made investments and I've made sacrifices and I've done so much to do to make life in the world better and what to do. And you people can't appreciate it. You people don't see it. And that, that you have no idea the pain and the hell that I went through just so that you can breathe, just so that you can be here, just so that you can live life and floss and do what you do. You have no understanding of my struggle, of my pain, of my challenges, of the obstacles that I've had to grow through just to be able to give you the knowledge and the wisdom and the insight that I gave you. That you throw away. And so I have to understand, damn, that's an ego trip. That's an ego trip. Don't get caught up in the ego trap. Damn. I'm still looking for acceptance. I'm still looking for love and affirmations. I'm still looking for, man, dad, you did it. You did your fucking thing. Man, dad, I am the person that I am because of you and da-da-da. You're still looking for something along those lines. And so the reasons why they're never giving you your flowers is because you got to deal with some shit. And for them, and the fucked up thing about that for them is that after you're gone, karma kicks in. And karma says, you didn't appreciate, you didn't value those that came before you. You didn't appreciate value those that have sown and invested into your life. You took them for granted. You dismissed them. You invalidated them. So karma says, now you're going to taste their brokenness. Now you're going to taste their pain. Look at, look at this. You had all these people, you had this person that loved you, that adored you, that would have gave you the world, that tried to give you the world. But to you, it wasn't enough. And so now, you could talk about connecting with your ancestors and, you know, all these other people you want to. But you can't connect with your ancestors and skip those that are directly invested into you, that have sown into you, that have paved the way for you. You can't skip that generation. And then go back to Africa or Europe or Asia or South America, wherever you're from, and say, damn, I'm reconnecting with my roots. And so there's going to be many lessons, many opportunities for them to experience that brokenness. To be humbled. And to learn to value and appreciate everyone. Everyone. And oftentimes it happens after you're gone. Then they sit back and think, damn, I miss this person. Damn. When I really sit back and reflect on life, damn, it was this person that I was always complaining about. It was this person that I was always tearing down. It was this person that was always there sowing into my life. 
It was always this person, man, trying to show me genuine love. It was always this person, always trying to really encourage me. Challenging me to think outside of the box. And because I didn't like what they had to say, I blew them off. Because I didn't like what they were telling me, I dismissed them. And I thought that I was smarter than them. I thought I was wiser than them. I thought I was more connected to God, to source the most high, than them. I should have learned more from them. I should have spent more time with them. And I won't get that opportunity again. And I'll have to live with that the rest of my life. what I could have been, what I could have accomplished had I humbled myself and learned more. It is what it is. Your job, you're going to have to sit there. And some of you adults, you're going to have to sit back and really reflect on this and think, damn, was I like this with my parents? Was I like this with the people that raised me? Was I dismissive? Was I disrespectful like this? Was I arrogant like this? Is this why I'm reaping what I've sowed? See, oftentimes, and speak for me, my father was locked up in prison. My father murdered my mom. My father was always in some hoorah shit. So it was easy for me to sit there and look down on him. It was easy for me to look and dismiss him. It was easy for me to like, fuck this motherfucker, he ain't shit. He ain't never been shit. He ain't never accomplished shit in his life. He ain't never had a positive impact. You reap what you fucking sow. You reap what you sow. That's a universal law. It can't be broken. I don't give a fuck how deep you get. I don't give a fuck how spiritual you think you are. How woke you think you are. What you sow, you're going to reap. Accept it. Because you can't change it. Learn from it. Grow from it. Because you're going to go through it. Every single one of you, you're going to go through it. And the question isn't, or the question is, ah, the question is not about, are you going to go through it? Because you're going to go through it. The question is, are you going to grow through it? Man, I hope and pray that I've said something to encourage you, to challenge your way of thinking. We have to grow up. You reap what you've sown. There's no getting around that. You're going to have to pay the price for it. Do it humility. Do it with gratitude. Do it with love and understanding. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.